Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. The gameplays are coming back to Xerxy 2. I know I took about a two week break from doing gameplays for hashtag Packstrike, which we are still gonna be on hashtag Packstrike, but I decided to wanna come back, start doing gameplays again. Still don't agree with the price of these cards, but I literally was the only person not doing gameplays for two weeks, so. I think it's right to give you guys content you want to see. I do want to give a shout out to Ryan's very own for being a part of the Nordic gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Nordic gang. Also guys, I've been on an absolute tear with the NFL pickums. If you guys have not seen my picks the last couple of days, really the past like week and a half, We've been going absolutely crazy. Last night, $295 in W's. And if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. And of course, we do have Thursday Night Football coming up. And as well, we do have some NBA preseason. We also have the NBA regular season coming up. Last year, I did pretty good during the NBA season. So we'll see if I can keep up this hot streak I have going on. But if you guys want to copy my picks, do the opposite, whatever, use code ZERK. Now today, guys, we do have Calvin Johnson and we have Darrell Rivas. Now also, another point i want to make here as well with these cards uh yes i'm going to do gameplays with cards now but i'm still just going to sell them back because personally i'm cheap okay i don't think any card is worth a million coins regardless of the player it could be micah parsons I i'm not spending a million coins on a card and keep them on the team i just don't value cards like that so i will be doing gameplays again over here with new cards not holding on to them though they're going right back to the auction house after the gameplays but megatron 91 speed 89 excel 6.5 94 spec catch, 94 deep route running, 89 catch in traffic. He also was insane as a run blocker, 78 run block, 76 impact, 88 trucky, 90 change of direction, 91 break tackle. And in terms of his abilities, guys, we're using this. It is Double Me Megatron. So he starts with Double Me activated. It is 3 AP, so it's a lot, but I felt like we should use this and have fun with it. Uh, and then also, deep out of lead, he gets for 1 AP. You could run Wide Receiver Apprentice because that's honestly really, really good. But I'm going to run deep out of lead on for 1 AP, and here are his team camps. And then also, guys, we have Darrell Revis. 91 speed, 90 excel, 94 man, 93 zone, 93 press, 5'11", so a little short, but honestly, I don't think it'll be a problem. Uh, he does also have 76 hit power, 62 block shed, and 60 tackling. And in terms of abilities, we're just running universal coverage. He does get shut down for 3 AP, but I don't really feel like that one's worth it on defense. Offensively, I feel like the abilities are more worth it for these AKA players. However, he does get acrobat for 3 AP. So that is an ability we definitely will be using. Uh, in terms of his team cams, gets a lot more, of course, than Megatron. Let's get into this. So as you guys can see, that is my my top three we have calvin Darrell revis and drew bledsoe and my opponent's top three is cornerback justin fields okay all right guys so starting off this game we do have double me activated on calvin and he just left him one-on-one -on -one. calvin calvin johnson interception really intercepted on the he just fumbled and he what all right well i tried to throw it deep on the very first play there to calvin and it was intercepted and then somehow he got that fumble recovery back i have no idea how he was able to get that back so not a great start to the gameplay but we'll see what we can do out here as we're about to get some pressure on him but he has lamar he's just gonna throw that away all right so i gotta watch out for dave casper obviously his best player here but nothing else is open once again we get some more pressure all right so third and ten coming up let's see if we can get a stop here i'm gonna look out over the middle we get some pressure on him again revis is there and that could have been picked i am a little bit worried if he tries to go back to that because that was darrell revis versus is dave casper definitely not advantage uh in my way i'll say that as i'm gonna look out over the middle he's chucking it up please thank you having to deal with donald parham is not exactly uh what i want to do there with troy palmalu but down to the 33 yard line again it's one-on-one -on -one. it is literally one-on-one -on -one. megatron going up for the catch and calvin is actually still activated we have one last play here so if he's not gonna double calvin i am dead yep we're gonna go to calvin jo okay that was weird so i wanted to throw a fade to calvin there but then he got pressed like all the way to the inside and when i threw it 
he like swerved back out tried to get the catch i thought he was actually going to catch it but second and goal on the three yard line we're just gonna run this one in here with demarco all right well i'm glad we got to see calvin johnson make an incredible play on that drive finally and now my opponent once again has the ball we've been getting crazy pressure on his offensive line though so we'll see if we can do it again and a holland with the pick Devon holland there with the massive interception now i might be looking to go to calvin johnson here on like a slant or something he is definitely more than just a deep threat you better believe that but we do have dave casper open here who's gonna hit a nice juke move there and pick up about 15. and yeah, that was an absolutely beautiful juke move absolutely beautiful juke as i'm gonna look to go to calvin here over the middle calvin johnson oh not a td all right i really want to try this again i really really want to see if we can get calvin to just moss somebody i want to see if we can get it to happen here down at the one he is pressing him gonna chuck it up and incomplete and i'm going right back to it man i want to see calvin johnson just absolutely teabag him calvin for the touchdown glad to see calvin johnson can definitely get up there and teabag a defender as we get some pressure on him once again i don't know what's going on but we are just screaming like every single play whatever's going on i want to see some more of it second and two coming up here i'm gonna look out over the middle for that tight end i knew he was gonna go back to that and cam chancellor with the interception Let's go down so we get some more yards of Calvin. All right, so great defense so far. We might be able to take a 21 to nothing lead here going into the second quarter if we can get this to work. And Calvin once again snagging it. My opponent has had enough of Calvin Johnson. Let's get into another one. All right, so let's hop in with another one here and get some more gameplay with Calvin and also Revis and my opponent has a pretty solid team all right so once again calvin johnson does start off the game here with a double me so of course we're gonna chuck it up to him and calvin again got bumped there so i've been throwing these lob passes to him honestly i should probably just like high point and uh bullet pass it to him more than likely that's gonna result in a catch and calvin gets the catch and we still have double me activated for one more play so i'm running the same exact play here and i'm gonna oh he's actually gonna try and double on him right yeah he's gonna try to double him so we'll just go to michael crabtree instead for the td all right so calvin johnson there with a big time catch and then also just worried my opponent so much that he had to manually use her on him and left crabtree one-on-one -on -one. so definitely another great start to this game here up seven nothing to start does he have christian okoye i think i think that's okoye in the backfield that is gonna be a hard man to bring down and yes that is actually christian okoye so i'm a little bit worried about that but he is going to be running the football here. Cam Chancellor, good tackle. All right, second down and 11 coming up. I actually thought for sure that he would pass there, but instead he runs. So far, absolutely nothing for my opponent to do. Third and 12 coming up, and I'm right there over the middle with Derek Johnson. Derek Johnson with the interception, and now let's just see what we can do. We don't have double me activated anymore on Calvin. However, we still have him wide open over the middle, and he took the hit stick. So Calvin just ate that hit stick stick right there down to the nine yard line and we're gonna have demarco open couldn't get the ball to him all right and now on second and goal i'm curious to see if he's running man okay he's not but we are gonna still have calvin open break the tackle let's go all right and on third and goal once again just like we did in that last game here i'm gonna try to jump ball this to calvin johnson and see if he can catch it one-on-one -on -one. oh that's just a bad ball in a normal game here maybe i go ahead and i uh take my three points but we are definitely not about to do that here in this gameplay i'm gonna look to get the ball to calvin i think he's gonna expect a jump ball but i'm just looking to get the ball to him what was that what just happened to my camera angle right there i i have no idea what just happened with the camera angle but obviously that did not work out and is that a safety at the one i'm not sure what happened there i tried to you know just throw a slant and the camera angle got all messed up and calvin couldn't catch it all right third down and two coming up and my opponent tried to run the ball we're all over it and i feel like he's probably gonna try to pass this fourth and one he is passing and javon holland is gonna come away with the int javon holland there with the interception and now down to the 22 yard line let's see if we can get this in yep we have one-on-one one-on-one -on -one, calvin johnson with the td 
And I think my opponent here, guys, is also going to be out of the game. So I've done two games now, and Calvin Johnson has dominated pretty much in both of them here. So we're going to go ahead, hop into a house rules game. I really don't have time to hop into another full head-to-head -head one, but I'll do a quick little house rules. All right, so let's see if we can get the ball to Calvin Johnson here. This is just like a regular overtime game, pretty much. It's just college OT. So let's see. Oh, he's going he's gonna to double him, isn't he? Yep, he's going to double Calvin. Yep, he's usering on it, but I'm still going to throw it. He came off too quickly. How did Calvin catch that? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how Calvin caught that because I am positive that uh, the DB was in a good position. But Calvin, again, kind of just a bad throw. He got pressed down on the goal line now a couple of times, and Calvin just, like, gets thrown off his route. And then I try to high point it, and it just goes way out. So, it is what it is, but Calvin Johnson, yeah, th the card's obviously incredible, as he's gonna try to chuck it up, and that, so, should have been picked. So, second and 15 coming up now, he just motioned over CD. I hope you try to throw Revis. I would love for this guy to throw at Revis, because I don't think we've had Revis targeted yet. Instead, he's gonna go over the middle, and again, that could have been picked. And now on third and 15, once again, he's gonna motion over CD. And I guess I'm just going to look out deep down the middle of the field. That's pretty much all he's trying to go to. Instead, he just chucks up to Fitz and again, incomplete. I really just want him to test Revis one time. Just test Revis one time. How did he catch that? All right. Well, fourth and 15. Incredible catch there by Dave Casper. Is he going to try to run? Nope. He does not try to run. Instead, he just quick throws it to Casper again. All right. And now down at the one yard line, this has got to be a run. I'm run committing. This has got to be a run here. I'm absolutely run committing, and nope, it's a pass, and he's going to have an easy TD. So he had an easy touchdown right there. Now, of course, he has to go for two, and uh, he's definitely passing the ball. This is not a run. He has not ran the ball yet. This absolutely would not be a run, and I'm all over that with Derek Johnson. Let's just go down. So that is going to be it for the gameplay, guys. Calvin Johnson was incredible in all of the games, and as for Revis, I don't think he actually got targeted. Is it safe to say that Revis was absolutely dominant because he didn't get targeted? That one, I don't know. But Calvin absolutely was a monster in this gameplay. And I got to say, he is extremely good. However, not worth his price. So I wouldn't recommend you buy him for 1.1 million coins. If he comes down in price, kind of like Herman Moore did, you know, more around that 500k, 400k price range, I'll probably pick up Calvin. But for 1.1 million, like I said, these cards are going right back in the block. They're absolutely not worth it. And yes, I'm still continuing hashtag pack strike, but... I want to come back and do gameplays for you guys, showcase the new cards and everything, but do I recommend you hold off and buying them? Absolutely, I do. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.